My name is Julian, and today I will be showing you how to use your PL7100 Smart Lock. We will be demonstrating three ways to set up your lock. With your smartphone, with the digital keypad, and with an RFID reader or an FOB. Before we begin, there are a couple of things you need to do. First, make sure that you have four AA batteries installed into the back of your lock. Also, make sure that you have downloaded the K3 Connect app from the App Store, or if you have an Android phone, download the K3 Connect Plus app from the Google Play Store. Once the app is installed, you can sign up and create your own username and account to use the lock. Once you've signed up, you are ready to begin using the lock. The first thing that you want to do is open your K3 app. Once the app is open, press the positive button on the top right hand corner of the phone. Once you've done that, you'll need to fill in the DIN number for this lock. The DIN number for the PL7100 is lowercase PL7100. After that, you have to give your lock a name. For the sake of this video, we have named the lock Demo. Press Done when you've finished doing that. At that point, the phone will prompt you to press the Setup button in the back of the lock. At that point, get any sort of small sharp object such as a paper clip or a thumbtack or a pen and press the setup button in the middle of the lock. The lock will begin to beep and the phone and the lock will begin synchronizing together. Synchronization takes about 20 seconds and after that your phone and lock will work together perfectly. At that point, your phone has been registered as the administrator of the lock. An administrator can have multiple locks, but a lock can only have one administrator. Now we'll show you how to set up the lock with a touchpad. The first thing we have to do is create a new master code. The way we do that is by pressing the setup button in the back of the lock. At that point, the lock will enter setup mode and you'll see a red LED light flashing in the front of the lock. Now, you must enter a new master code. For the sake of this demonstration, our master code was 1234, 1234. After entering your master code, press the pound button. Then, re-enter your master code again, followed by the pound key again. You cannot use the master code to unlock the lock, but you can use the master code to enter programming mode and assign new client codes which will be able to unlock the lock. To add a client code to the lock, type in the master code followed by the pound key. Then press the number one followed by the number one again. Then type in the new client code followed by the pound key. For this demonstration, the client code is 123412. Now your client code is ready to unlock your PL7100. After typing in the code, there's a 10 second delay and the lock relocks. To delete a client code, wake up the keypad and type in the master code again, followed by the pound key. After that, click the number 2, then click the number 1. Then type in the client code that you wish to delete. 
For this video, we are deleting the client code 123412, followed by the pound key. Then, type in the client code once more, followed by the pound key. At that point, your client code has been deleted and won't unlock the lock. Now, we will show you how to set up an RFID card or key fob with the lock. The first thing that you want to do is type in the master code followed by the pound key to enter setup mode. Once you do that, press the number 1, followed by the number 2. Then, take your RFID card or FOB and place it against the lock. The key card will register with the lock and you can now open the lock with your key card. After opening the lock, the lock will re-lock after 10 seconds. To delete an RFID card, type in your master code followed by the pound key. Then press the number 2. Again, press the number 2. Then tap your RFID card or key fob against the lock. At that point, the card will deregister with the lock and won't be able to unlock the lock anymore. That's it for the setup of the PL7100. If you have any other questions, feel free to call or email CalRoyal at any time.